Hello everyone, I'm Josh Rubenstein, Public Information Director for the Los Angeles Police Department. This critical incident community briefing is intended to provide you with information about an officer-involved shooting that occurred in Harbor Division in the City of Los Angeles on September 26, 2020. You're about to see relevant video footage and learn about other evidence and police procedures related to the case, so you can have a better understanding of what occurred based on what we know right now. The LAPD conducts very thorough use of force investigations, which typically require investigators to interview multiple witnesses, view numerous hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. We're still at the very early stages of this investigation, which can often take up to a year to complete, and our understanding of the incident may change as this additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. We also do not draw any conclusions about whether the officers acted consistent with our policies and the law until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. A word of caution, the images and information you are about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. In addition, there may be strong language used by those shown in the video. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. Hello, I'm Captain Stacy Spell of Media Relations Division of the Los Angeles Police Department, and I'm going to give you a brief overview of an incident that occurred on September 26th 2020, around 9.59 p.m. That's when a male Hispanic, later identified as 29-year-old Jose Serpa Guzman, drove to the front entrance and entered the lobby of the Harbor Community Police Station, located at 2175 John S. Gibson Boulevard in the city of Los Angeles. Guzman was met by a Harbor Area Uniform Desk Officer, at which time Guzman suddenly attacked the officer, punching him on the face, causing him to fall backwards onto the floor. While on the ground, Guzman began to struggle over the officer's gun and managed to remove the gun from the officer's holster. Guzman continued his assault and hit the officer on the head with the gun, causing lacerations. As Guzman stood up, he pointed the gun at the officer and retreated towards the front door. The on-duty assistant watch commander responded to the front lobby, at which point the officer informed that sergeant that Guzman had his gun. Guzman fired at the sergeant, who then returned fire. Guzman was not struck by gunfire and fled the station in his vehicle. The sergeant and another supervisor put out a radio broadcast of an officer needs help, shots fired. Here's that officer needs help radio call. I got a white car heading southbound on a white truck southbound on Harbor seconds. on John F. Gibson approaching channel. Twenty one <laughs> channel. Nine and He's eleven running. seconds. Specific vehicle, white truck headed southbound on Gibson approaching channel. Body worn video cameras are used by most officers assigned to field duties. They are worn at chest level and capture a general perspective within line of sight from that angle. The angle of the camera prohibits viewers from seeing everything the officer saw and experienced. Upon activation, both audio and video will turn on. However, body-worn video cameras have a buffer of video without audio from the previous two minutes prior to activation. This feature is designed to capture incidents that occur suddenly where an officer doesn't immediately activate the camera. The incident was also captured on the station surveillance cameras. Here's a video evidence of the incident.
spot here. Hey! You got my gun. What? You got my gun. Somebody call RA! Call RA! Call RA! I'm starting to black out! We got an army to harvest me. The responding officers observed Guzman's vehicle traveling southbound on Pacific Avenue and initiated a short vehicle pursuit, which terminated at Pacific Avenue and 17th Street. Guzman was taken into custody following a non-categorical use of force. During this incident, Guzman sustained minor abrasions and was transported by the Los Angeles Fire Department paramedics to a local hospital where he was medically treated and cleared for booking by the attending physician. Shit, what am I doing? Watch traffic, watch traffic. Clear right, clear right, clear right. Clear right, clear right, clear right. Fresh red, fresh red. Clear right, clear right, clear right. Fresh green, fresh green. Watch the turn, watch the turn. We got an RV, to Fuck! Conscious breathing. Traffic, traffic, traffic. All right, I conversation. Where's the fucking vehicle at? You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, go, 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 go. Pacific vehicle is a white truck. Any unit with additional coming in here. Southbound, southbound Pacific. South Pacific from uh, 9th. Pacific vehicle, white track, South Pacific from 9th. Oh, 
5Z35, 5L20, and 5A55. We're in pursuit. Southbound, Pacific, passing 11th. Continuing southbound Pacific, passing 1515, 15. Southbound Pacific, passing 1215. Southbound Pacific, passing 15. Fuck. Let me see your hands, motherfucker! Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! Get down on the ground! Down on the ground!
I got one. All right, all right. Give it your hands, buddy. You're gonna get hurt. He's got his right arm. Okay, I got the I'm off. I'm off. I'm off. Go, 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 go. We got the right arm now. Okay. I'm getting cuts. I'm getting cuts. I got this. I got his right arm. All right. Everybody be cool. Everybody be cool. All right, we got him. We got him. Okay. 520 is code for in custody. The officer's loaded 9 millimeter Beretta semi-automatic pistol was recovered from Guzman's vehicle. The LAFD paramedics also responded to the station and transported the injured officer to a local hospital where he was medically treated for non-life-threatening injuries and was later released. On September 29, 2020, the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office filed the following counts against Guzman. Two counts of attempted murder of a police officer. Two counts of assault with a deadly weapon on a peace officer. One count of robbery. One count of fleeing a pursuing peace officer. And one count of resisting executive officer. Jose Serpa Guzman is a 29-year-old resident of Los Angeles. In the next several months, the LAPD will continue to investigate and analyze this incident. They'll continue interviewing any new witnesses that may come forward and complete any forensic tests. Now, after the investigation is completed, our Critical Incident Review Division will forward their findings to the Chief of Police who will make his recommendation to the Civilian Board of Police Commissioners. The board will evaluate the evidence to determine whether the officer's tactics, drawing and exhibiting of a weapon, and use of deadly force in this instance met the high standards expected of all LAPD officers. If you'd like more information about how the Los Angeles Police Department and the L.A. District Attorney's Office investigates all officer-involved shootings and other serious uses of force, visit LAPDonline.org, where you can also find LAPD's use of force policies and procedures. Thank you for taking the time to view this critical incident community briefing.